Hey folks. So I got thinking I didn't have a whole lot to talk about, but I decided to save my talk till after I came back from my tour. And I thought of a lot of things while I was out. And I jotted them down <laughs> so I wouldn't forget. So I am feeling better. Um obviously you can hear my voice, I still got my cold, but I'm sleeping at night now. I had one night, oh, it was horrible. I didn't try laying down again. I tried sleeping, sitting up, which was fine. But I woke up sometime during the night, and I had to roll over and oh. I, there was a dream associated with it. I was kind of still in my dream at that time. And I, I can't even explain it. It was so weird, it was so messed up. I just, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but in my dream, it was like, it, it took me like an hour to roll over, although it may have just been a few seconds. But it was just horrible. And as soon as I started to move, I'd start to shiver. I was cold. Yeah, I was soaking wet. My my pillow, I swear I could wring it out. It was so, it was so wet. And my blanket, I had to... I had to flip it around because it was wet so it was cold so I had to flip it around so the, the, the wet end was at my feet it was not nice but I managed to do it and got back to sleep <laughs> oh it was horrible so that was just the one night and that was the last night I had uh, this, uh, the sweating shivering issues I don't remember if it was that night or the next night. The temperature dropped down to about 8 degrees, I think it was. Yeah, it, it got pretty chilly outside. And our air conditioner downstairs was still on. It was cranked up. And the heat came on. <laughs> Michelle said, I'm, I'm surprised we didn't have a thunderstorm in the house. The hot air and cold air trying to mix. It was kind of funny. But, last couple of nights haven't been much of an issue, as far as sleeping goes. I did have a, a, a bit of a coughing issue last night, so I just kind of, I didn't actually sit up, I just kind of propped my head up on the pillow. I woke up laying down normal, so apparently sometime during the night I moved. But, so that worked out okay. But I still got it, it's still lingering. Um, my ears are still plugged up, so I'm not sure how loud I'm talking at the moment because things are kind of amplified inside my head right now. I can't hear the gears spinning, but I can hear myself talking and breathing. And I'm a little bit stuffed up. But I, it's, it's the mildest cold I've had. Uh, they're usually really bad, uh, especially in my throat. I get that dry scratchiness that just won't go away. I never got that with this. It started that way. That's That was my first... Well, other than the shivering part. Uh, that was really the first thing that happened. My throat started to get a bit sore. That's how I knew I was getting the cold, but it never got any worse. It's more phlegm than anything else. It's a phlegm cough, which I can deal with. But when I lay down, it, it, I kind of choke on it, it, which is really annoying, but <laughs> other than that, I can deal with it. So it really hasn't been that bad this time. I'm happy with that. So, a few more days, I should be back to normal again. So I, I think I figured out why I don't have any money this month. Um, like I said, this isn't the first month. It, it's got nothing to do with the price increase. Um, the internet bill going up and the water going up, thats that didn't didn't just happen. It's, it's been two or three months since that started. So that isn't what caused the issue. So what happened, I think, because I did check, I didn't pay any of my bills twice. But, like I say, it, this, this isn't the only month that I've been short. I was short last month, too. But, what I think happened this month, why I'm perceiving it to be worse this month, is because I get my money, I, I put some money on my credit card, my prepaid card, and the rest I leave in the bank until... So I pay my water bill directly from my bank, and 
I wait till my loan payment, which comes out on the 3rd. And I think this month, the 3rd was on a weekend, so it never came out till the following Monday, whatever day of the week that was. So it was a bit delayed. And I used more of the money on my credit card before I was able to put more on it. So already it was at a lower balance. And then the 10th of the month, we get our Trillium payment, which is a monthly government thing. And I think what happened was I was kind of looking at my, my balance before that money came through, I'm thinking. But at the same time, I still have no money for the rest of this month. And my Amazon purchase wasn't really any more than I normally spend, so I don't, I don't, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But it's got nothing to do with the price increases because none of the food stuff that I bought was more, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know. But that's my explanation this, this month anyways. I, I just, I kind of looked at my balance before I got my extra money. I don't know. So, the birthday's coming up. Uh, by the time you see this video, this will be out on the 28th, so it will be my birthday. Happy birthday to me. It's only, it's the 24th today, the day that I'm actually recording this. Sorry, I shall have boyfriend out. Looking around and just wondering what he's doing. <laughs> okay, he's got the dog out. The dog's leash broke, so they had to come out with him. So, now was I going to say? No, yeah. My sister sent me a package. Uh, she sent me a couple t-shirts from my aunt. I don't remember exactly what's on them. One of them was Catitude. It's got three, like, biker cats type thing. And the other one's lobsters in a bar or something. I haven't really looked that close at it yet. But she sent me a birthday card with it as well. I got a little bit of money that I was using today. I gotta make it last to the end of the month. There's not much, so can't go crazy with it but she also sent me a whole bunch of pictures of me when I was a kid which was a complete surprise <laughs> some of them I remember uh, one of them's a, a high school graduation picture which is kind of cool I haven't seen that one for a while but there's actually a few in there that I've, I've seen before I remember uh, some of them I haven't one one well, not one, but a couple when I was like a, a baby, so it's kind of cool. So I gotta dig out my scanner, <laughs> which is buried. It's a it's an all-in-one scanner, printer, fax machine, and well, we don't have a, a landline here, so we don't use the fax anymore. And the printer, it's all dried up in the work, so I, I keep it to use as a scanner. But it's up on the shelf underneath stuff, so I gotta dig it out. And oh wait, that sounds like a mosquito. I don't want to hear that. So I will share those at the end of this video. I'll show you the pictures that she sent me. It's kind of cool. I might have some from my other sister too. She she's got like world history in her computer. I don't know how she fits it all in there, but if you need to know something, you know she's got the pictures. That's kind of cool. So, I'll see if I can find some of those and I'll share them as well. Just when I was younger. I'm pretty sure they're in my computer. I don't think I put them on disk or anything. I'll do be on disk anyways as a backup, but I think they're in my computer. I'll find them. Um, so, today's a nice day. I oh, know it was 28 degrees today. Just the perfect breeze. Not too strong made it really, really enjoyable, so I went for a nice long tour. Oh, excuse me. So I, 
I was told yesterday was the last day of school, maybe for high school, um, elementary kids were still in, unfortunately, <laughs> drive through the crowd, but it wasn't too bad, it was kind of late, it was almost 4 o'clock, so most of the kids had already left, so that was kind of cool. I didn't see any of the school buses coming down the hill, so I think they'd already cleared out. That wasn't too bad. And I stopped down at the dam and I saw the heron down there, so I just kind of went slowly towards it to see if, how close I could get to it before it left. But he wouldn't let me get close today. So, he flew away pretty quick. So I, I forgot to explain in my last video, um, my last update, why I'm not going down my trail, off road trail up at the soccer fields anymore. The short trail, where I come back out to the laneway part, I can still see it. It's because I, I got to it before the plants started growing in too deep, so I kind of suppressed their growth for a bit. I can still see it. Problem is, it, it's so tall now. I can't see my other trail, the secondary trail, the long one that I made, and I can't see it at all. And just when we got that crazy wind last week. I don't want to take a chance on finding any you know, big tree branches that have fell in there because I won't be able to see them until I actually hit them. So that was one of the reasons. The other reason is with the, t the grass being so grown in now that I don't want to get any ticks <laughs> driving through that. So, because it's as tall as the monster is now. So, I'm kind of done with that for the year, I guess. So I just kind of sit down on the laneway and hope there's nobody coming or going with boats, which there was yesterday, I think, yesterday or the day before when I went down there. But they weren't in each other's way, so it was no big deal. So that explains that. Oops. Okay, that's all I got for that. Now, come on. So I have been watching the temperature for July 1st for the fireworks. Um, off and on, the forecast had rain for that day. Everything seems to be the day before that now. But like I said, it, it's still a week away. Yeah, today's Friday, the 31st is next Friday. So, you know, anything can happen between now and then, it can still change. Keep an eye on it. So far, it looks good. It's even even the rain that was there. It wasn't a lot of rain, and it was like a small chance. So, you know, it could rain like early morning. It could rain afternoon. Just a quick shower or something. So it doesn't really mean it's going to rain all day, or it's going to be heavy rain or anything. It is the icons there. The rain icons there. But as of today, it's not. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Um, <laughs> regarding my last project video of cleaning the rust off the monster, I had a lot of comments on that and I expected them. Uh, as, as far as eye protection, that's, this is all I use. Um, I do have, uh, I don't really, I'm not sure where the car is at the moment, check real quick here. them. It would be easier to show you than try to explain it, but I do have safety glasses out here somewhere. I was using them when I was going out for my night drives before I, I put the clear lenses on my other glasses. But I was going to show you, they don't really cover much more of my eyes than these do. And anything that's coming at me is coming at me pretty much straight on anyway, so these are adequate for me. I've never had an issue wearing, you know, reading glasses. I have to have these on anyways to see what I'm doing. So that's why I'm not wearing eye protection, quote unquote. Okay. 
because I don't really feel I need to. Because these these protect very they, they, they cover most of my eyes anyway, so now that would be that reason. As far as the rust dust <laughs> That was actually what I was expecting someone to comment about. So, just to explain, um, the camera that I'm using, the exposure on it, it's really good when it gets dark. That's why I use it for my night tours, because it picks up the monster's lighting a lot better. The aperture, that's what I'm looking for. The aperture opens up and it, it looks brighter than it is. So even with my overhead lights on in the garage here, it, it's still not very bright. And that's why I had to put my headlight on to see what I was doing, because it just, there just wasn't much light. So it's actually brighter than, you know, with the, or not as bright as what it looks like in the video. So there's that. Even with my, my glasses here, um, I have to get a certain specific distance from something for it to be in focus. Everything else is blurry. So that rust dust was really fine. I couldn't see it. So, you know, every once in a while if I hit a, a specific spot, I'll, I'll see a cloud of, of the dust come off. But it was going past me. It wasn't going directly at me. So it was never an issue. I never even saw it until I was watching that video and it's like, holy smokes, <laughs> clouds of dust. I couldn't see that when I was actually doing it. So in hindsight, yeah, I should have been wearing a mask for sure. But like I say, when I was doing it at that time, I had no idea. I couldn't see that. I couldn't see those rust clouds coming off. So I, I figured somebody would, would say something about it. I didn't expect that many. <laughs> So yeah, if I had known that that dust cloud was, was lingering the way it was, I, I would have put a mask on for sure. But like I say, I didn't see it. Until I watched the video, I did not see it. So, but you know, it didn't, didn't, didn't affect me any. Now, I don't know what kind of complications you can get from inhaling rusted dust, but you know, it didn't seem to affect me any, thankfully. But I'll kind of keep that in mind if I ever do that again. You know, what the potential is there. But like I say, I just, I couldn't see it. I didn't know that, that rust cloud was there lingering around me. So, that explains that. Um, so, when I got back, I decided to wait until I got back after my tour, like I said, to do my update talk here. And I got back and Zach was cleaning out his car, they're getting ready to go out. So I just kind of hung out, waited for him to leave before I started this, so I didn't get interrupted. And my bolt's still here that I took to Rona to get my washers. And I'm looking at it. And there's something I never explained. I'm not sure if I was saving it for a project video or if I just forgot. But with that one front wheel being on an angle, I'm not, not even sure if I talked about this or not. If you remember, when I drilled the hole, to put the bolt through that bracket it was off center so and it's when it's facing this way you get the wheel here and the steering thing on this side it's facing this way and that's the side it's off center so if it's out this way then the other one's like this it's going to be an on, an on an angle if you know what i mean so i'm thinking if i turn it around will it fix the problem so that's one thing i was thinking of the other thing i was thinking of is that steel tube that I put on to act as a spacer or to take up the gap from the bearing here it's really thin so and there's two pieces that overlap one on one side and one on the other to make it thick enough to cover and it's it possible that the bearing has squished it out of the way but that happened really quickly if that's the case so what I'm thinking is, I told you before that you know when I was trying to figure all this out, I tried to see if I could find bearings that would fit this bolt and still be the same diameter to fit the steering part, and I couldn't find one. But as I'm sitting here waiting for Zach, I got thinking, what if I find a bolt that'll fit the bearing? Right? So. We measure that. 
the inside diameter of the bearing is 11 millimeters. And I think the bolt was 9 or 10. Yeah, the bolt is 9. So, I couldn't find a bearing with this outer diameter with, with the 9 millimeter inside diameter. So can I find a bolt that is, what was it, 11 or 12? So do 11 millimeter bolts exist? That's what I'm going to find out today. I'm going to search and see what I can do. Because then I won't have to reboot those spacers at all, right? So I'll see what happens there. Try it out. Uh, see what I can figure out. So I'm not sure what else to talk about. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to. There is one more thing I want to talk about, and that's the monster. But to do that, I need to switch cameras. Yeah, I had this issue before, but you now I I tried to show it holding the camera with one hand and shaking the monster with the other. And as I'm moving that hand, I'm camera that hand is holding the camera is moving as well, so you can't really see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down, not touch it, and watch what happens with the monster. <laughs> that was an issue before <clears throat> when the steering bearings were shot, but if you watch this side, see that is the steering that is moving and that's also the side that I forgot to put the, the spacer in in the uh, the hub so uh, I was thinking all those bearings are shot now because of that which is possible but it is actually the steering that is moving however on this side this side it is actually the motion is up in here which means my spacer is not working it's not it's not fitting tight and I don't know what to do about that so I was thinking, making new spacers, um, kind of like I did with this side, I made them um, out of the, the copper tube. Excuse me a second. Uh, I eased my throat a little bit. So I was thinking of using the copper tube, but then I come up with that bolt idea, and I think I'm going to try that first. Just think about that bolt, and see if I can replace that bolt, then I won't have to worry about a spacer at all so I don't know I just want this thing work and I'm just so tired of uh, having these projects looming over me knowing they have to be done soon 
I'm sweating pretty good today. It's really humid today. Uh, so, I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. Uh, I wanted to to mention that with the steering. There's a, there's a lot of motion when I'm driving. I can feel it. But it's just, you know, the motivation. Uh, I want to get stuff done. And I gotta fix those lights on the side. I gotta put those plugs in. I gotta do that. I'd kinda like to get that done before fireworks day because I will be driving at night at that point in time for sure. And not like when I go out at, for a night drive right now where there's like nobody around or very, very few cars at all. Uh, there'll be a lot of people out that night, a lot of cars. Um, I know from experience of driving home, I'm driving through all that crowd, so I would kind of like to have some light on the side so people can see a little better. So I'd kind of like to get that done, if nothing else, because the front end being an issue, I can still drive it. It's just, it's no, it's noisy. Um, this pillar. That's very loud when I'm driving. <laughs> and annoying and embarrassing. But I can still drive it like that. Um, safely. But as far as the light, I'd, I'd like to have those side lights. You know, so people can see me from the side a lot easier. Because it's not like I'm going to have my overhead light or my bumper light on. Because I can't do that and blind people, right? So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But, you know, it, it's it's not a, a, a really difficult job. Uh, I just, I gotta put the strap and lift the seat up, and that's that's the difficult part, annoying part. But putting those waterproof plugs together, it's, it's time consuming. Um, they're they're kind of complicated there's a lot of pieces to them and I never remember the process so I have a video that shows how to do it and I have to keep looking at that to remind myself because <laughs> the steel pins one one's an actual pin and one's a tube that the pin goes into one of them's got the locking tabs pointing out up and the other one's got the locking tabs pointing down and they have to go into one side specifically the right way and the other one has to go in the opposite way and it's just I don't do it enough to remember all that, so, and because I don't have a printer that's working, it's not like I can take screenshots and print everything out with an explanation, right? So, I don't know. The only thing I can do is take the screenshots in order and email them to myself so I can put them on my phone so I can just swipe through them as I'm doing it. That's probably how I'll end up doing it. I don't know. So I used that plug, um, I can't show you right now because everything's together, but I did use that plug on my, my brake wire. Uh, that's the first thing I did when I got my new transaxle, I'll put a waterproof plug on it because that's always an issue. That plug is the same thing, it's not weather sealed, right? You get the salt in there and it causes an issue. So that's the first thing I did, I put one of those on. And they're 100% water sealed, you can use them underwater, you know, they won't leak, it won't be an issue. So if they're weather sealed, they're also salt sealed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the big issue. Yeah. Be feeding the salt. Yeah. I think that's all I got. Um I'm not sure how long I've been talking now. So I I'll try I'll try to show my tour. Uh, I haven't been able to do that because I've had limited time with my computer because the hard drives, the heat in my room, I have to turn them off and everything I've got YouTube related is on those because my C drive just isn't very big so you know I can't store a whole lot there so yeah. and the amount of time that I can actually have those on is limited limited to when my the bedroom temperature is below 34 <laughs> or below 32 I should say I mean, it's reached 34 but you know, anything over 32 I, just, I turn them off I don't want any failures I don't want to lose any more content so, but I will see what happens um, this 
this is the four day break because it's Friday and this video will be out on Tuesday so I have four days to work on this one as opposed to three with the last one so we'll see what happens we'll see if I had time to make one or not it's not even just making the video itself doing the editing it's the image stabilization that takes the most amount of time and depending on how much content I have it can take hours so yeah. it's like rendering the video twice <laughs> rendering it first time doing the, the image stabilization and then rendering it the final time to actually output the video so. but we'll see what happens I'll see what I can come up with manager nut it's supposed to be super hot tomorrow again and then it's supposed to go down to mid 20 actually there's one cooler day in there I can't remember what it was and then basically mid 20s from there I don't know it keeps changing we'll see what happens so, that's all I got for this one guys thanks for watching